Well, they're all bringing their songs in. They want a publishing deal. That's the first pee out of the dish. They go, here are songs. I like, so you need to send me some publishers so I can get a publishing deal. And, and you, you listen to these songs, and they're, it's, it's good to be really a king or a queen somewhere. You've got to be hot somewhere. Even if it's only your own living room at home with your family, go, oh, you're the greatest. So you, you come to believe that, and you've got to remember uh, when someone comes up to you, say you're playing this local club, and they say, I love your music. They don't mean they love your song. What they mean is, number one, gee, you've got a great personality. Number two, wow, you sang the brains out of that. Three, wow, I love this club, what a cool joint. Number four, hey, the wine list is great, the beer is cold, the beer at Bar Snacks is great. Oh, I don't like the song. Where the money is, this is an orphan. So it's all about the song. This is a song town. And you're as good as your song. If you play a song tonight at 10 o'clock at the Commodore, and if it's a killer, killer song, I will have heard about it by this time next week. You cannot stop a hit song. A hit song is a living thing that will outlive you by, by your lifetime plus 70 years. It will walk the planet without you. It doesn't need you. Uh, you don't have to be a donkey for it. Hmm. Um, and unfortunately, there are very few. Uh, when I was writing full time before I started working at ASCAP, I'd finish 100 songs a year. I'd demo about 40. I'd average about six cuts and get a hit every third year. So I was working on a one in 300 margin. Now, I'm a workhorse. Yeah, over my lifetime, people say, oh man, you've had all these hits. I go, yeah, I didn't sit down and write them in a weekend. Mm -hmm. I wrote them over, over 40 years. Mm -hmm. um, matter of fact, next year is my, uh, actually, because uh, I was 16 when I joined the union, it'll be my 50th professional year in the business next year. Um, and I've loved every minute of it. I, I started when I was 11, and I was by 14 I was playing bars, so I, you had to join the union. Mm -hmm. And then by 17 I was in LA, 18 New York, and then I heard the Beatles. Got a one-way ticket to Liverpool. And uh, I, I'm funny, if Craig Wiseman asked me some years ago, we were down fishing down in Florida, and he said, 